Right, next question was from Raina. Um, ways to create follow backlinks. Cool, okay, so I guess first off, um, if you don't know what a follow backlink is, um, there's two types of backlinks, a follow backlink and a no follow backlink. So um, it's only a small difference within the actual HTML code. So if, if my website links to Kieran's website, I can choose to have that link as a follow link. And what that means is when search engines come and they see the link from my site to Kieran's site, they'll follow it. So that SEO value that you get that Kieran's site's getting from my website, it, he's going to get it. But I can put a no follow tag on my link to Kieran's website. So then when Google comes to my site, it just stops. It does no follow to your site. Does no follow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, not great English. Um, so that, that's the difference between no follow. So you really, from an SEO point of view, follow backlinks are, are what you want because that's going to pass, transfer the SEO value from that site to your site. Um, so this is a great question and very relevant for this week because um, I did a few posts around a great way to get follow backlinks which is through using a service called Harrow, um, which is an acronym for Help a Reporter Out, which is essentially um, a service that um, journalists provide, or an online service where journalists upload a request for information from the public, and then anyone that signs up, which you can do, which is free of charge, uh, sees that request for information, and then if you're an expert in that area, you can provide them with a, an expert quote, an opinion, um, and then they'll, what they'll do is if, when they create that article, if they like your quote, they'll link back to you. Um, really, really good. I mean, we've used it for hike, uh, for our backlinks. You know, it's really simple to set up. You just need to monitor your emails every day because you can, you can set up loads of Harrow emails and then you scan through looking for your keywords. So we look for SEO. And then if there's anything there, we then uh, we respond back and make sure that our response is very unique because they're only going to, publish your response, yeah. your quote, if it's something they're not getting from someone else. Because I mean, Harrow gets sent to thousands, tens, probably, yeah, tens of thousands of people. Um, so I did a blog post on it, which talks all about the process of using Harrow to create follow backlinks. Um, and then also within that, there's a little mini video because yesterday a Harrow request came through uh, for SEO. So I recorded the process of me responding to it. So hopefully we'll get another backlink out of that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah we'll, we'll follow that up in the next couple of weeks. So uh, that's one way. Um, another quick way is look at your competition. So your competitors, right? Where are they getting backlinks from? Because you know if a website has linked to your competitor and your competitor is very, you know, highly relevant to what you do, then there's a great chance that you can get a backlink. Um, you can take that one step further and you can look at um, competitors where two or more of your competitors have got backlinks from the same website and that's an even bigger signal that it's gonna be easier to get a backlink from that site. Uh, we do that within Hike. So as you put in your competitors, if we spot there's an opportunity where two or more of your competitors have got a backlink from the same website, we'll show you that. And we'll also give you contact details for how to contact that website. So any publicly available email addresses uh, we'll provide so you can reach out to them. Um, yeah, I guess that's just keep that short. That's two, two great ways of doing follow links. Yeah, great answer. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>